Let me now draw on the tablet. I'm gonna just uh, focus completely on here. I'm gonna draw on this tablet and I'm gonna show you how we call it, why we call it a wave. Why don't we call it just a splash? Why don't we call it, you know, a radio, you know, square? Why do we call it a wave? So stay with me for these next few minutes as I illustrate over there. You might see me looking down, but you know exactly what it's about. So let's imagine that this white line on screen is the actual surface of the water, perfectly smooth, um, no ripples, no wind, no nothing. Okay. And here comes the log and the log gets thrown into the water and it hits the water. What happens when it hits the water? Well, immediately waves are going out right from the center. Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to stick a big fat piece of paper over here, right? Because I want to map what is actually happening, the shape of a wave. So what happens? What happens when this wave over here hits the water? Let's call this time, right? That's time, right? So when the wave when the wave eventually hits over here, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to push the water, right? It's going to push the water. So as it hits the paper, that very first dot is going to be created, then another dot. So let's say these are all hundredths of a second, right? Hundredths of a second. As the water pushes through, right? That which is the peak is now moving in that direction. So all of this stuff is moving and I'm plotting it every one hundredth of a second. Now, once it's gone past, of course, it carries a wake. Yeah, it carries a wake in the in, in the back and that wake is going to follow. I'm plotting it all the time. Now, look what happens if I go in and I join that. It's a little bit difficult to draw, but look what happens. Yes it starts to look like a wave a wave one of these things it starts to look like a wave now what will the next one look like well the next one we know that energy as it travels be it in the water or a radio wave as it travels it loses energy so the second wave or the next wave that comes in actually it's not in front that if this being the first one the second one would be here so let's have another piece of paper over here the second one the wave would start but you see what happens the amplitude the amplitude oops that's bad the amplitude would be less than this one here the amplitude is much more why because it has more power right it has more power and as further and further waves leave that center spot outwards they have less and less power so the height the amplitude of that wave is less and less reduced so the first one really big next one less next one less next one less next one less until it's not even a wave it's a ripple but if we were to draw it it would look like that and that's why we say that this is a radio wave because we've measured the same thing on an oscilloscope right so if you look at the oscilloscope which is designed not to look at water waves but to look at electronic waves that's what we will see on an oscilloscope so i hope that that's been really clear and helped you to see that all around you every day all the time you are surrounded by waves as you talk there are waves of energy uh, carrying your carrying your voice you are listening to people around you talk you are hearing waves of energy in this case because it's in our frequency range our ears we we translate that into pitch our minds convert that into words and we can understand what he's saying so easy explanation i hope that that's been clear